guys. It is 11 something. <laughs> um, I took Trikafta and uh, just had some coffee and pretty much had a lazy morning. Um, I'm gonna do my treatment when I get back later on tonight after I take a shower. Um, but we are leaving to go to the dentist in like uh, 20 minutes, I think. Uh, so I'm not nervous about the appointment itself. Like it's gonna probably be a very easy appointment. It's just gonna be like, did I need to be adjusted? Not really, <laughs> like they've been like this since uh, January. So, um, you know, they my teeth have kind of formed around them and I like the way they are now. I don't want them to be adjusted. So basically all he has to do is just like take off the temporary um, filling because there's like temporary filling over where the screws are um, in case they need to be adjusted and put on the permanent filling so then you won't see the screws through it anymore because uh, if you guys haven't been following me all my front teeth are implants the all 10 of these are fake um, so that it's gonna be easy like I don't think I'm even gonna have to be numbed like it's just gonna be checking the cleanliness of them which I think I've been doing a pretty good job of and uh, and just putting the permanent stuff over. So that's gonna be easy. I'm not worried about the appointment. What I am worried about is going into a hospital setting because I have been avoiding hospitals for as long as possible. Like uh, I haven't needed them. Like I've ha I have my CF appointment coming up um, on July 10th and it's like, I've had a six month break from clinic. This has been really nice because usually it's every three months um, just because of the COVID stuff. And so the last time I was in a hospital was February 5th because I got really sick February 1st. Well, at the end, of, I was sick at the beginning of January, had two weeks of antibiotics, still was sick. So then I ended up in the ER February 1st and I was hospitalized for five days, which sometimes I wonder if that could have been COVID, but I'll never know. Um, but anyway, so, and then, yeah. So last time I was in a hospital was February 5th, which obviously there's a big difference between February 5th and June 24th. You know, there was, uh, a lot less going on then that we knew about anyway um, so it's gonna be interesting I'm a little bit interested about getting getting screened to get in because everybody has to get screened and I do have to say hey yes I have traveled in the past two weeks no I haven't traveled outside the country although pretty sure all the borders are closed so I don't think you could anyway but um, yes I have traveled and I've traveled from Florida which is kind of like a hot spot right now so that's gonna be a little bit interesting um, I do get my inaugural temperature check. I've never seen one of those things yet. So I get, I thought they were going to do it at the zoo and they didn't. So I get one of those. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very different. You know, usually it's just like walk in, go sit down, wait for them to call me, go do the dentist, do my thing, da da da, leave. It's going to be very different. It's going to be very uh, interesting. So I'm trying to look at it as like an adventure because I, I don't really like um, stepping into a hospital. So, um, but once that's over, then I don't have to worry about going back and hopefully, unless something terrible happens, <laughs> I don't have to worry about going back into a hospital until July 10th. So, um, just going to take the day one thing at a time, get through this, um, and then go see the horses later tonight and just like decompress because I didn't sleep very well last night at all because um, I was worried about today. But uh, it is nice that after two and a half years, I mean, this thing started October of 2017. This is the last thing. This is like the last step. And then I like graduate, I guess. I'm free uh, to live my life with teeth and not have to go to the dentist all the time. So um, yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice it'll Be nice when it's over and I can exit the hospital. <laughs> but um, it's also be my last time stepping into Children's Hospital. I mean, I started going there literally like I was a couple hours old and uh, I've just had the dentist there. I have my CF clinic as at a different hospital, um, but I had for 18 years, that was also my seat where my CF clinic was. So it's a little bit weird. This is my last time stepping into this hospital, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna miss it. So anyway, I'll see you guys after the dentist, let you guys know how it goes um, and uh, let's hope it goes well. So hope you guys are having a good day as well and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I just got done at the dentist. It's not going to look any different to you because all he was doing was filling in. I had like temporary fillings over where the screws are and he put permanent fillings. So hopefully nobody will ever have to touch it again. Um, but it, it, it looks the same. I didn't even have to get numb. It was like the easiest appointment ever out of all of this. Um, but what makes me happy... What makes me like ecstatic right now is 
two and a half years later, my dental journey is finally complete. Like it felt complete in January because I had the teeth, but it wasn't because I had to go back and get the possible adjustment. I didn't have to get an adjustment. It looks fine. But and then I had to put the permanent stuff and that's when it was going to be done. And so walking out was like this amazing feeling because it started back on October uh, 13th, 2017 and June 24th, 2020, it was finished. And he told me the implants look great. And, um, I do have one problem with one other tooth, but it, it, it should be fine. Like it's not, it can be fixed. Uh, and it'll be fixed at some point when I get back to Florida, but the implants look great. And, uh, he said, I'm going to cleaning them well and everything looks perfect. So I guess I'm free. <laughs> I'm done. I'm free. I, after all of that, and I don't even know how many dentist appointments. Uh, yeah, it's a really good feeling. So um, we're on our way home now. Uh, I'll probably head out and see the horses a little bit earlier today because it is just a gorgeous blue sunny day and not too hot. But um, miles. right now, I'm really happy. Hey guys, so I'm heading down to the horses early. Um, normally I don't go down here till like 7.30 and it's four, but um, one, I don't wanna like sit around in my COVID clothes as I call them in the house, but I don't wanna like take a shower and then have to put on a whole nother outfit to go to the horses. So the solution is to just go now. Uh, oh, the things we have to think about in 2020, it's, it's insane. Um, and the other reason is just because I feel like I am going to get tired later uh, just from being out at the dentist and then we had stuff at the store. So I'd rather just go now. And then the third reason is just uh, I won't get eaten alive by mosquitoes because I have quite a few, I don't know if you can see them, but I have quite a few bad mosquito bites on my wrists from the past several nights and they're driving me bonkers. And there's not mosquitoes out this time of day. And since it's not like super, super duper hot yet, um, it just makes more sense to just go now and that have to worry about any of the above three options. So uh, I am enjoying the sunlight because it hasn't been sunny since I've gotten here. So just gonna enjoy a little time down here, maybe an hour, hour and a half, depending on how hot I get. And uh, just listen to some music and hang out. Oh, for crying out loud, they are all the way down there. I don't know if you can see the white horse. Um, Usually this time of day they would be up in the like mats over there, but maybe up up here. Nope. They're all the way down there. So if I can get over there without like getting a bunch of water in my boots. New plan. I'm gonna go see Matt, because that ain't gonna happen. I'm sinking. So kinda stinks, but hopefully they'll Come up here because I already am getting hot, but I just I didn't want to come tonight. So let's go hang out with Matt. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love buckskins. This isn't the most flattering angle. <laughs> I love bucks. Buckskin is my favorite um, favorite kind of coat color. Palomino would be next. So I hang out with Matt for a bit, but I don't really like going in there with him just because he's a stallion and it just doesn't, I don't I'm not comfortable with it. So I found this trail that the horse has made. These are all mares. Um, I'm going to see if I can get back here using this. And a frog just nearly gave me a heart attack jumping across the thing. I thought it was a snake for a second. That's what I'm worried about with all those tall grasses. Snake, which is why I got big boots on. Um, but maybe this will work. I know it's gonna happen. It's happened in the past. I get all the way back here, get to them, and then they decide they want to go to the front. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, great. This is the problem, is getting through all this stuff. Oh yeah, Fancy, come over here, please. Please do that. See? Please do that. That'd be really helpful. Lead them all over here. Fancy's the leader. So if she comes over here, they're all gonna come over here. We'll see. I think I'm gonna have to wait him out. She's slowly inching over here, so eventually she's gonna end up over here. So I think I'm just gonna go sit in the shade. That'll work. <laughs> 
because I, I can't get over there. It's too flooded. This also brings back memories. Memories of sitting on rocks. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll come forward. I really want to just stand in the sun and wait for them, so. We'll see. I can sit here for a while. It's fine. Horses finally came out. Well, fancy. Yeah, they're slowly trickling their way forward, but, um, let's see if I can get up, because I pretty much have a permanent rock imprint. <laughs> It's always comfy sitting down, not so much getting up, but they're finally making their way over here after like 30 minutes, but I, I, it's fine. I, I didn't mind sitting in the shade for a little while. Got Fancy right there, and then Diamond and Blondie are slowly coming this way, and Snowball and Star. So if you guys see Diamond, Blondie, Snowball, Star. Just go, I'll go hang out with Fancy until they make their way over here. Because I really like to be a blondie. But. I hate horse flies as much as the horses do, I think. <laughs> it's okay. Didn't mean to scare you. Jeez. You're still a little spooky, aren't you? It's okay. guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. I just got back from the horses. I spent like two hours down there because it was just such a such a gorgeous day. Like it's only 87. I just had to <laughs> take advantage of it. The lighting is really weird. I'm not sure what, what's up with the lighting. But um, yeah, I just had to take advantage of it. So I enjoyed two hours down there. Now I'm tired between the dentist appointment, the um, grocery store, and then two hours out in the sun with the horses. I am exhausted, but it was a really good day, and um, and I'm just I'm happy tonight. I enjoyed. I spent a lot of time with Wandy, and um, it was just just a good day. And now I'm gonna take a shower, chill out, have a snack, and just have a have a relaxing evening. But guys, I'm so happy to be done. I I don't know. I was saying two and a half years, three surgeries, countless appointments later, I'm done. I finally made it to the end of this journey and this dental journey that has been so crazy at the beginning of it I almost died and just eh, I'm done at some point I'm gonna have to make a complete video on this when I get back to well, actually I have my computer here I don't have to wait till I get back to Florida I need to make like a complete edited video on it I did one about my dental implants but I'd love to just do more of like a not quite as informational but just like showing the progression of it kind of thing and um, from almost dying in surgery to where I stand today with 10 beautiful teeth that are done. It's a great feeling. So with that, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.